Alexi, you ride king of the court again. He went so close on debut. Yeah, he runs a very good race. Um, he's a very honest horse. Um, I think he's got ability and I'm glad he stepped up to 14 because 12 was a little bit too short. He came uh, a little bit too late. Alexi, you've done plenty of work on him since that first start. Has he come on from that appearance? Uh, well, he seems to kept his form. Um, uh, I suppose he has improved a little bit, maybe more mature, but he, he's doing pretty well, so I'm, I'm confident he will, uh, he will do well from a good gate and step up to 14 won't be a problem. From that good gate, he has gone forward in the trials. Might we see him a bit handier this week? Yeah, just handy. You know, he, he's, um, he's pretty mature. Uh, he's done nothing wrong so far, so he should, uh, should be able to get a good position and, uh, and a lovely spot uh, just behind the leaders or handy, whatever. John Curry won to unbeaten in five starts from class four to a group winner. How hard is that to do in Hong Kong? Well, it's hard to the horse. You know, he's uh, he's um, certainly uh, showed his, his class and quality up till now, and uh, um, it's a big effort from him. It's, it's hard to do. Has he done well during his break? He seems all right. He looks pretty good. He's, he's training normally, and uh, his trials have have been uh, normal for him so uh, I think uh, you know, he presented the races quite well. You raced most of these in the Shah Tin Vars last time so that must give you some confidence that he can beat them again. Well there, the, I think uh, you know a few of the horses have had a race and he hasn't so um, there's that and then uh, he's come back as a, uh, as a four-year-old now so hopefully he can improve a little bit with age and um, these horses are at you know, different points in their preparation, so uh, that makes it a little bit in interesting. What about from Barrier 9? He's a horse that likes to race handy. Might we see something different this time with a bit of speed drawn inside him? Well, he's been, he's been a bit keen in, in some of his races so far. A um, couple of trials he's had this time back. I mean, it's trial day, so it's probably a bit different. He's been quiet and he's been a lot easier to manage but that might be with the, the lack of the race day excitement. But, um, uh, yeah, if they go too quick, well, he, he'll uh, have to uh, sit away from the speed a little bit, yeah. Blake, what a wonderful return by Skyfield last time. Yeah, it sure was. It was, it was great to see him put, uh, put in such a great performance. Obviously, with such a, a big weight, it wasn't easy to do, but he's a quality galloper, and it's great to see the horse come back and show that he's going to be a real force to be reckoned with in these big sprints uh, in the coming coming months. This week the extra distance, nothing but a plus? Nothing but a plus, obviously the only thing against him is, is the handicap conditions again, but uh, I'm going in full of confidence, he's drawn a great barrier again in two. Um, I can't see why he can't go close to winning again. Joe C.P. Braver last start winner, he looked to do it very easily. Pretty much, he, he was very lucky to get a good gate at that time and he sneak himself close to the fence saving ground. Um, still got a little bit of held up turning for home but he's sure that he's got class, got good acceleration and he just won it in, in a good way so I'd be very surprised if he goes and run a bad race. You mentioned his good gait last time, how did he start because his starts have been a little iffy in Hong Kong? Well with me last time he was pretty much straightforward so I wouldn't be concerning about that, he'd probably be getting used to the, tape, uh, the pace of the races over here uh, how things happen stack quickly over over here so I, I'm quite confident that this time he's gonna jump as good as last time. And he steps up to 1800 meters this week did he run through the line strongly in that last win? He did and step up to this is gonna do him even better uh, I, I wouldn't be a surprise to me if Tony stepped him up to even farther in the future. What about the extra nine pounds any worries about that? Uh, of course uh, any extra weight on the horse's back it's gonna be a concern but he seems a, a kind of a horse that has got a lot of upsides and, uh, and as I said, I'd be very surprised if he run, runs a bad race. Karis, great to have your Group 1 winner from last season back. Yes, of course, uh, we're pretty happy with him uh, and I'm excited to, to get him back on Penfield. You've given him three trials and they look to be really strong hit outs you've given him too. Yeah, you know, he's a big strong fella. Uh, he can take a bit of work, so He's been off for a while, um, but you know what, every single trial he's, he's, he's done, he's improved from it and now he's ready to go to races. First up over 1,600 metres, what are the worries around that for him? 
Yeah, you know, of course, it's, you know, we know it's going to be too short for him. Um, you know, it's of course, it's his first run. So we're not going to, you know, just going to look after him where he's comfortable and let him finish his race. He got better and better last season um, as he stepped up in distance. Has he strengthened further during the time off? Yeah, I think so. I think the, the little break has done him well. Uh, he feels good mentally and physically. I think he's improved a lot. Like I said, it's just a concern about the 1600, but you know, he's, he's, he's a decent horse. And like I said, I'm just going to leave him where he's comfortable and let's hope he finishes home strongly. With horses like Exultant retiring at the end of last season, he's got a great opportunity here to make a name for himself as, as the best stayer in Hong Kong. Yeah, of course, you know, of, uh, of course, the big horses now has, has retired and he's, he's now going to take kind of step forward. And, you know, I think he's, uh, he's got the ability to, to do that. Um, of course, going to these 10 races, that's his, that's his game and that's what we're going to be facing for now. Congratulations in order. You've announced during the week you're expecting to become a father. Yeah, you know, practice makes perfect, so, <laughs> so it was about time, you know. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Chad, how excited are you to see this big horse back? Yeah, really excited. He's, he's been going really well. He's, he's furnished further into a nice big horse now, and it's exciting to have him back. Had a couple of trials, one at Happy Valley and then a, a good second to Wellington as well down the straight. Yeah, his Happy Valley one was very quiet. We just kept him contained in behind runners and he did it very easily and he did a bit more in the second one up the grass. Trialed really well, obviously a close second to a group one winning sprinter. So yeah, the horse is going well. He's, he's ready to run a good race fresh and fortunately we haven't drawn a good gate, which makes things a bit tougher, but he's a good horse and good horses can overcome things. You rode him on Tuesday morning, happy with what he did? Very happy, yeah, he's going well. He's, he's, a, he's definitely stronger this time in. Um, and for that reason, I'm very excited to see what he can do this season. Is this his biggest test coming up this week? Because it's a very strong class two field. No doubt it'll be the hardest race, the hardest task he's had in his career. But you know, everything he's, he's had before him, he, he's done last season, he, he's just kept raising the bar and done what we've asked him to do. So although this looks like a much stiffer task, there's no reason to, for, for anyone to think he can't do it. Is one of his best attributes that he just finds a way to win? Yeah, like any good horse, he, they get the job done. And he, he is a good horse and he does get the job done. So let's hope he can continue on that trend on the weekend.